What, what it do, baby? Mean? We got CJ the Champ Stink Mina, the personification <laughs> of hatred. hatred. No. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately to right? the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily basis. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, there are just many haters in fiction just in general. Of course. For an example, of course. Reverse Flash. Hey, yep. yo, this man hates yep. me so much. I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. It's like a severe case of meat munching or hell eating. Then obviously, you know, we got your D.O.'s, your mm -hmm. Frizzles, mm -hmm. your flat nose, no nostril, Voldemort, how does that nigga smell? And yo, <laughs> you even got your scars. Yeah, that's hey. This the this number one hater right here. Scar this is. this is OG hater. Literally. It's, yeah. Is Scar the first hater we ever met? This the first hater we ever met. Yeah. Was it Jafar? Jafar. From Ooh, Aladdin. Jafar. Didn't Aladdin come out first? But I don't remember Jafar. I remember Scar. Yeah. And I, and I don't like, even, I don't even like, think. Like everybody knows. Yeah, Scar. Scar. Yeah, real, everybody. Real hater. Real hater. You, you know this scene. You know this scene. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Aladdin's good, Aladdin's cool, but compared to this, it's forgettable. Yeah, it is. It's, and it's still top, but that shows you how top this is. But ladies and gentlemen, that's crazy. Be <laughs> might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. <laughs> Stink Mater. Like Exhibit a movie. A. Exhibit A. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. To understand the philosophy Ooh. of stink meter and Who the basically heck is that? this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the the moment. An altercation caused by ignorance overwhelming the logic otherwise rational thinking <laughs> of a brother. Fact. Now watch closely uh, as I personally I love give you so. a demonstration. Yep, uh, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Hey, watch where you going, nigga. Is ready to pop a cap yep. each other's asses. So they, they ready. And they miss every shot. Every, every shot. shot. That's shot. crazy. Like they just got off the set of a new hope. And once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Freeze! Oh, I don't remember that part. I swear, I, I, I swear, do. To, I do. I, I swear, do. I remember I, the end moment. Cause they, I remember the at episode. the end, like they, at, at the end of that that moment, they were like, ah, oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. Then like, like they, it was cool. <laughs> then the cops came up. <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> Air the boys out. <laughs> That's wild. Since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, okay. Stinkmeter was always look, a old, uh, hating, yeah. bitter ass. He didn't Fast. care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked <laughs> happiness in general. Man, this is some old bush. At age 15, Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, Damn, he didn't that sucks. Care. He was just glad that he ain't had to see shit no more. So that oh. only gave him three years left to live. So he decided three years. for those oh, three cancer, years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just sing giggles. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they yep. just say is, bro, is basically a Sith Lord. Now, the, the hatred, hatred kept him alive. Hatred fueled him to stay alive. Yeah, so if you alive. ever hate somebody, it'll make you eternal. Look oh, at the devil. Does hatred beat cancer? Not no. I'm just saying. No. It could. You no. never know. Hatred drove him to live. He only had three years. Now later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan Altima. How is he driving? He blind. He blind. Yeah. He... Atlanta, not giving a care in the world. Jesus oh, because he don't care. That's why. This man. Wait a minute. As I'm now thinking about it, who in the hell gave this old blind nigga a driver's license? Whoever issued this sh you should be ashamed of yourself. You throw him in there. You see, this man ah. is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50. <laughs> bagging in the gray ass car. And he's like, hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space. This is handicapped. So this man gets out of his car and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's all that spit. When they collect an ass whooping. Partner. So granddad says, yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? And ladies and gentlemen, just like uh, that, uh, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a moment. Oh, uh, so look at the spit. Said, Yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man stink me and are like, well, I'll be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ. I'm That's telling you, I'm statement. telling you, I ain't gonna lie. I'm so happy what happened to stink me 
But the fact well, you gonna see, you gonna okay. see, because I, I remember the Sting okay. Meter arc. I remember every episode with Sting Meter. Coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh Lord, look what you did to my car. He messed up, man. Well, you better have insurance. Ass whooping insurance, cause you about to pay a deductible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Granddad can either do two things right now. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle okay. it, or not, B, not, not B. Not old crazy blind B. Guy. And, B. Uh, let's just say it's gotta his be. brother chose B. So Steve Meter just start pressing. He just start spitting in his face. He's like, "What you?" He been do? spitting the whole time. Yes, 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 yes. You gonna do something about it? That boy CJ said, "Y'all gonna change the monetization? <laughs> I don't care." <laughs> I don't care. Look, half of me was like, well, he gonna live at the curse because of the monetization. Because CJ the one text our group and said, hey, look at the YouTube monetization policy. That's why CJ said, I don't care. I don't care, I'm doing it. And then Steve Miller ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable things you can ever do to another man. Hold up, I smell new shoes. Mm. Oh! Oh hell no! Nah, bro, this is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. He was chilling. Nah, he nah, was chilling. Back, look how he stepped hey. on it. Bro, pulled back his whole. Bro, I got a replay. At a ninety degree <laughs> angle, and went. Yeah. The fact that his sister is so high yeah, and he can smell new shoes know, is crazy. Yeah, I got no respect for you. And he like, yeah, they ain't new anymore, are they? Yeah. <laughs> so then this was the final straw that made Granddad tick. So Granddad swing at him. No. We it, what? Like, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Lord, and it was on his back. To get beat up by a blind man. You just crazy. got your ass beat by an old blind man. Absurd. I told you. Ever since Stink Meaning, I, I just I just wait for the day uh ignorant old black man just challenged me. Y'all think Stevie wanted really blind? Go punch him. I don't think Go he punch him. Swing on him. Ow. Swing on him. Hey. If he dodges it, if he dodges it, it's crazy. Hey, it's crazy. crazy. You saw him catch the microphone pole? Yeah, he was on stage. That boy fell. Somebody walked by, hit it, it fell, and he caught it. Crazy. You gotta swing on him. Crazy. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta swing on him, dude. So Huey had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, this over. So later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just started making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped? <laughs> me personally. Me personally. Then later that night while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, look on the news and he like, this just in. A fight at Woodcrest uh, with an older black man in another unknown uh, And it wasn't uh, just uh, the news. CNN, Russell Pearl, and international news. Whoa! Because in Mexico City calling him a pinata. No. So then the phone started ringing, <laughs> and guess who left a voice? Sing me now. Hello, Robert. Hey, Robert. Hey, hey, Robert Freeman. I gotta talk to you about no. that old blind man. This can't be. And what he did, tell you. Mm. See, he beat your black man on the ass with his blind man. And he did some disrespectful things to you, never. Never see, it couldn't have been me. Oh, no, I, I like the replacement word. Nibble. Yeah, nibble. Nibble. Yeah. Hey, I like it. Hey. Now, I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind on the news. And yeah. I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So, you know what? Oh, no. This can't be. I tried not to say it, and he said it. Oh, there goes the monetization. I will tell you what, Robert. Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Robert, hello? I want some KFC now. Actually, so I don't. I want so some Popeyes. To the point that later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meter, and challenged him to a fight. So Granddad Duel. started training, thinking he Ali. Mutual so, combat. Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's wow. like that. And on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting this like we about to watch Jake this Paul. Fool here. This hey, fool homie. Here. Real recognized, real granddad. Hey, Andrew, why you had to go and get locked up? We won't see that. Tell you free. Oh, he is free. He bailed out. I forgot. Why you that. keep saying this? I, I forgot. But he now nah, he can't focus though. He worried about his. You know they, what I'm saying? The fight wasn't real. I don't care. That was no chance. Oh, did you hear he fakes his fights? The contract got leaked. Oh. Contract got leaked. Oh. Contract got leaked. Where? Where? Um. I want to say it was uh, Tyron Woodley. Uh, 
or or silver. One of them leaked their contract. Oh, yeah, it was it was uh it it, it was trending it was trending uh, last night, oh. but it got outshadowed by the cod thing. God dang! So now it's the night of the fight, and it is packed. Riley out here overcharging for ten dollars, so they start squaring up and stink meaner like. Oh, he got him a cane. You scared? You scared? Ain't you? Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. <laughs> hey, dog, no, come. Hey, you see? <laughs> That's vintage. So he starts swinging, and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my god, this ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, uh, you know, that? Hey, question. Uh, I thought they fought in a ring. What? Honestly, I don't no, know. I could have swore I remember uh, them fighting in the ring. Hey, don't ask Is me. this a Mandela effect? Yeah, probably. I remember them being in the ring outside the mall and Granddad just like. Maybe it's like a like a visualization of a ring at some point. Okay. Maybe. But it was too late. Finish him. Granddad started oh, whooping oh, 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 and then granddad loaded up and knocked him out. Yeah. <laughs> Fatality. Literally. And he didn't he just him. knock him he, out. Wow. Granddad killed him. Whoa! Love they just went to the trap in a moment. So, yeah, that was it. Robert, send that bad boy nigga to hell. <laughs> send that angry nigga to hell, Robert. Them That's bad boy mock him off. Uh, Mofo, don't understand what it's like to be. The maple marsupial. The maple marsupial. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what, Freeman? You know what? I like your kind, boy. I'm wow. going to wow. give you some watermelon and oh, some wow. chicken. The I fact, ain't going to give you This shared and sharp picture for the this moment is it's crazy. time to move on to. Oh, that was only exhibit, exhibit bay. Wow. Oh, no! Fuck! All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present I to you. Forgot, I forgot about the, this. I forgot about time. this. So as we know, Stink Meaner died. But little did we know, this was just the beginning. This huh? man is in hell training with the devil. What? Yeah. Demons. And even the devil said, he's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. This what man got the, the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest he's ever seen. That is the most legendary feat of all time. That's crazy. He nah. even called the devil a so the devil's like, Colonel H. Stink Meter, I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Wow. Wow. I'm coming for you, Freeman. Literally, Buddy was so evil, the, the devil back. kicked him out of here. Sent the back younger, too. No. What it look like? No. Oh, no. That, so that wasn't. We cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. Yeah. But even Stink yeah. Meter knew. That every brother's spirit is weakened during that moment. So this dude ends oh. up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on. Y'all are about to witness the craziest thing in any animation I have ever seen. Uh, crazy? Uh, okay, let's see. The poop. You, you can't do that. Hey. Hey, hey, come back here. I have my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing them out. He like, F you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass, nigga. I'll beat your mother to diddy ass, nigga. Don't live your life oh. I let me oh. nigga. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this was a perfect time for Stink Meaner to make his move. Look at that. A standing. A standing drop kick. That's wild. Kick him in his chest. That's wild. His chest. All right. I gotta shoot you. That's standing here now. I've no, gotta the, the shot. <laughs> the shot. The shot. Ah! So this man talked ah! WWE drop kicks this man. And he's like, oh and yeah. And landed. Look at ya. You was talking and about it a second ago. And you got yeah. kicked, kicked in your chest. chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You, you eat, eat a dick. Oh, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Who did this to you? Somebody call an ambulance. Hey, help. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. Wow. So this man, Stink Meaner, got him wow. acting up in the courtroom. Wow. got up in there and said, F*** your court, n***. <laughs> then later on, bro, wow. Oh, no. home to Tom's wife. And he's like, 
Oh, yeah. I want to beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into no. you? This ain't no way to get into you. Him. And he beats his wife's cheeks. <laughs> Hey, hey, oh W Riz for sure. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to Dang. beat up on your girl Doonies. Nah, bro, it's crazy. And you've I mean, seen it. Hey. You've seen it within your mind. Technically, it's still you. No, it's not. It is. No, I mean, it's not. If the devil take over you, that's the devil. Uh, it is. Going crazy. Going crazy. Going crazy on your woman. So then later on, Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, Whoa! but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. So, Dawson's tearing the door down with an axe, and he's like, Whoa! Hey, yeah. the callback. Like, yo, what, Tom, what are you doing, Tom? Right now. So, Granddad starts. Speaking of callback, speaking of callback, random. This is so very random. Eminem rap god. Mm -hmm. You know what he say? Uh, shama, lama, 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 lama. And then he's literally saying some of them blah, blah, blah. That line, that's a freaking reference from a hip hop song. Where they literally say some of them It wasn't random words. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's bar. It's literally bars. And he said their name right before he did it. That's crazy. I just want to say that. Jesus Christ, this man. I just want to say that. Because the callback. You're the only one that was there. Huh? You the only one that was I know, it was so random. But I just had to put you know, if you didn't know now you know. And the whole package is hanging out. So statement are saying, You don't remember me? You don't remember my name? <laughs> What's my name? <laughs> <laughs> What's my name, Robert? What's my name? name? So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding ding ding, that's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the uh, strap uh, uh, and uh, 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 a body Huey smack Riley around and he is still continuing at the same time. The whole at the same hey, time. Hey, that boy, hey, that boy He's Huey crazy. nasty though. You gotta get, hey, you gotta give my boy Huey his props. Around, and he is still Watch continuing him. to body the oh, boy, whole body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that kick though. Then he like, is that all y'all got? Yeah, look at his backhand to Huey. Oh my gracious. So they finally end up pinning him down and Riley had to smack <laughs> this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So later on- Hey, Riley. Riley a hot hey. number if I ever say one. Yeah, facts. The greatest hot number of all time. Facts. Who one of y'all kind? Right. Except when Thug Alicia was around. Yeah, oh, that boy time. was wearing a skirt. Different time. And they got him restrained on this bed and Robert. Oh, the exorcism! So the, the exorcism! They stick me to wake up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. <laughs> hey, why he got him a young bag, yo? No, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. You weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up having to call the Catholic yep. church to exercise this man. So this scene, like yeah. Powerful, I never put your hand God bless you, Robin. God, it's all coming together. It's powerful, I never put your hand Yeah. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say Whoa. because they're God Whoa. I will get demonetized. Whoa. The now you care about it? <laughs> now, now you care? You, care. <laughs> you done said a million? <laughs> now you care? Yeah, care. boy, you done said a million, huh? If he get desperate, that brother may try to rap. Oh, yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they get up in this room. And Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read the read. <laughs> and start beating this man yeah. on the bed and saying, Crazy. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. But then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And several. then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit is that was exhibit? to create peace. That was Exhibit. That was Exhibit. Wow. Exhibit is not dead. Yeah, it was wow. Exhibit. And the only way to do that 
was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers and that finally ended up exercising his spirit and sending him That's back right. down to hell. Exhibit C. Exhibit C. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit C. The Hateocracy. So oh, even yeah. though that stink meaner is yeah. now long yep. dead and gone, he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Hateocracy. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stinkmeaner, right. Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Crab Lady Esmeralda Gripe Nasty, and okay. Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they Yo. all hated each other. Yo. But the thing they had in common uh, was that they uh, hated, hated everybody hated else even more. Yo. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. This is home. so utterly they wild. They just ran that lady over. Oh, he ran that? her over over with the dang scooter. That's wild, bro. He decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement That's home. wild, That's speed bumps. Jello and crashing bingo parties. B4, B4. Bingo, nigga. No. I win. Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop him because they nah, ruined the done. earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually, till they split up. But because of the death of Stinkmeaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, His legacy because, lives on. These, I will, they were demons. Of course. No, Man, you don't understand. Me. You don't understand. We about to find out. You don't understand. They were demons. Demons. <laughs> they just ran a lady over. Bro, the no, you don't understand. Not just demons in the sense of evil. They were strong. Oh, man. Give it a oh, ruckus man. working at this gas station, and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door, and ruckus is like, oh, hell no. What the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for? Uh, Curious George exhibit? Uh, I'm looking for a man named Robert Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat dude. Oh, what the? Ass to death. What the? Give his ass, Rufus. Brass. Oh. Well, Ruckus kind of deserved it. Breaking okay. news. Man at a gas station was struck <laughs> by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. Them wow. damn wild animals. Police say this. Them damn maple mussels. Maple mussels. Suspects are still at large. So, yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, I um, guess we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all. <laughs> they came to take out the kids. What I will tell you, right? What's about to happen next? If you're a Naruto fan, specifically, mm -hmm. and you remember the tuning exam, think about Sasuke and Orochimaru. Hello, motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh. No, that was no, crazy. <laughs> I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this. I don't know I'm get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy, and they is teeing uh, off. Oh, uh, my God. Uh, and look at this. Uh, oh, she saw them joint. <laughs> This fight scene is an exact replica of Sasuke versus Orochimaru. Wow. When you put them up side by side, it's the same animation. Wow. Oh, and a uh, fun fact. She hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hey! hit. Hey! 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 <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! See, I know my stuff! You, 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 you know it. She hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with, but she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So here we are. Oh. Just got absolutely body here. Don Riley got his brain, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight, but they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, wow. Robert ends At up going fishing, house. but he ends up running no. into the So he's like, come on, the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir, do you know a man by Stingmeter? Oh, wait, you already should, because you killed him. 
Robert Freeman! So bruh starts swinging this. I don't even know what Whoa. that is. So Robert start get to step, but dude Whoa. ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh lord! So later on, I know that kind of hurt. I know that. Bushido Brown. To now so Bushido who? Brown the is the strongest martial artist in their universe. My boy has won the Kumite. <laughs> oh, you gotta say Kumite every time. <laughs> you gotta do that every time you say Kumite. <laughs> He won it several times. Right. A murderer, a killer. Right. He the true end all be all. And they about to step to him. To be they about to step. Guard. So the head officer in the pulling up to their house. They about so to they step. start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he low-key start working him. Oh my god! Look of course, how as he should. Beat the wig off that bitch. As he's whoa. Boom. Whoa. He with the finish. Boom. <laughs> But I say was because uh, that nigga's life was past tense. Proof is caught that man lacking. Oh my god. <clears throat> you know, you gotta censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new policy. You don't wanna make Mama Susan mad now. I don't wanna hear nothing about that. You ragged. I don't wanna hear nothing. I don't wanna hear nothing. I ain't no way this video. Up, ain't no way this video, Green. I almost cussed you out. Ain't no way. I will cuss you out. <laughs> <laughs> so granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry I had a nigga moment. But then they end up saying, mm, we don't give a f about no Steak Meaner. I beg your pardon? What, what the yeah, hell? It was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? What? <laughs> Oh, this what? whole time, they're oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No, no. they literally came and did all this all for shits and giggles. No, Ladies. this is crazy. They, they killed a man. <laughs> so they're about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. Wow. Psych. Exhibit. Dang. I knew it. Dang. I knew it. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Uncharted Territory, the territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit B. I now present to you the clone. Oh. So you see, Steak Meaner wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steak Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and wow. the government made a clone. So he gets his note from the original Steak Meaner and it says, Dear Clone Me, the heart with that nigga Robert from OG Steak. So the later arc on, is Robert crazy. is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? That's right. I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, nah, bruh. I ain't having this today. I'm just going to have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's uh, stink uh, meter is uh, moving. Uh, uh, like, oh, yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look at that headbutt, judo throw, sidekick, boom. Oh, oh, he ain't what blind no more. sidekick, crazy. Uh, he ain't this blind no more. Gordon Robert getting bodied, man. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops in up coming and stopping this fight but no no it wasn't over because later on he get this call on skype <laughs> skype any of y'all remember skype yeah yeah anybody even still use skype but anyway stick me on the phone and he like what's good nigga? just to let you know we gonna have a rematch and i done already told the whole world about it so if you don't show you a bitch to the i knew i wasn't tripping i knew i wasn't tripping oh, Robert. <laughs> So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meter. But smart, then, smart. this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house. Promoter. Like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meter, so uh, I bailed him out. And now we're gonna have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight, a televised wow. promotional material and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side was taking over, and he was slowly becoming more like Stink Meaner. Oh, so it's the night of the fight, he's and you what he had it. see the difference in him. Man, yep. he's got the ball spot and everything. Yep. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight, and Robert just kicked him in the face. So Stink Meaner like, oh, I see. You must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! 
Dang. 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 That hatred, boy. The that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is is just it's Robert under Stink Meter's influence. Uh, he ended up becoming yeah. what he wanted to destroy. Uh, an old hating ass man. nigga. So here we ended up having to stop. Whoa. Like, granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at the whole crowd, <laughs> bro. It's just silent. Just went, That's how oh, bad he did him. I mean, you did too. But I think the dude was like, Robert, you took that shit too far. I think that's what if I remember correctly, the big white <laughs> Robert, you took that shit too far. Wow. And, and like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. I Not as crazy. Wow. Was fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stinkminer, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stinkminer like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> so he telling me this man could have just stopped all this hate if you just asked him? Nah, that's crazy. Hell, so man. we cut three months later. And this man stink meter outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you think <laughs> over? That's f***ed up, Robert. So Robert comes to the door. He's like, get off my property. And stink meter say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life. Robert, wow. See you at seven. Yeah. He ain't he ain't he ain't he ain't he yeah, that's that's number one hater right there. One of them. <laughs> that one of them. Greatest hater of all time. Thank you for subscribing to Internet City. And you better be following us on Twitch or I'm going to eat some...